There we go, I think we're in business now. Hi everyone. A few people dropping in. Just trying to get my desk sorted out. It's been a while since I've been sitting here, so I think we're okay. I do have a little air conditioning unit thing going next to me, so if it's too loud, let me know and I will nudge it off. Well, hello Mel, hello Willow Biscuit, and Kim, and Margaret, and Jackie. Hi guys, long time no see. Bev's here as well, hi Bev. Lovely to see you guys, it's been too long. Too, too long. So I'm going to continue tonight with a little bit of watercolour on this one. It's like, what, nearly a month since we started this one? So we've all slept since then. Ah, oh, thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Nice to see you guys. Well, you know what I mean. Like, see you guys. I obviously can't see any of you, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, we've slept a few times since we did this one. So thank God I made a list of the colours I'd used. <laughs> Otherwise it would have been terrible. Yes, I'm feeling much, much improved. Thank you, Margaret. Hi, Annie. And Hannah's here as well. Hi, Hannah. Ah, oh, brilliant. So Castle Arts again tonight guys carrying on with the watercolors and the ordinary coloring pencils so I'll just show you what we're using oh Hannah's watching with no sound I'm so sorry you probably don't need to be listening to my drivel anyway to be honest <laughs> let me zoom in so I've done a little bit of work um, since you guys saw this the last time so the blue palette here in fact let me zoom out while I show you because otherwise it's not going to make any sense so you've obviously seen me do these flowers up here so I've actually repeated the same color palette with the blues and the pink and purple down here and also these leaves here I've used exactly the same pencils and I've carried them over at the bottom here with the same glitter gel pens so the other ones that you can see I've actually got this upside down that's better I thought it wasn't making sense so these are the ones that you've um, noticed on the page. I'm going to do these tonight. So you'll obviously know how to do these guys after we've done some of the live this evening. I'm a bit at sixes and sevens. I have the book upside down. How ridiculous. Tut tut, never mind. Let's do um, these little pink and orange guys to start with here. So the two colours that I used for these ones. So again, just for those that are hooking in. We're on Castle Arts watercolour and ordinary colouring pencils this evening. And the two colours that I've got for this one is Opera Rose, so that's number 81, and Cadmium Orange Middle, which is number 122. So these are the ones for the first couple of flowers. And then I will hopefully settle myself down. It's been a while since I've done this, folks. And let's get on with some colouring. So yeah, I hope you guys are all okay. If you're in the UK, you're probably dying of heat like we are today. Very, 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 very hot. And when you've got ginger skin like me, it's no good. <laughs> so I'm going to shuffle this over a little bit to this side. I may have actually just zoomed us slightly too much, you know. Let's unzoom that slightly. That's better. So we'll do these little guys here. Right, so does the castle art, let me just scroll that back. Can it be mixed with polychromos? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I'm using the ordinary castle art pencils over the top of these ones, but I've used Prisma and other pencils over the top of these, so I don't see any reason why not. I would give it a try and see. So cadmium orange middle is the first one that I'm going in with. I'm just trying to look at the design on the other side to remind me what on earth I did with this nearly a month ago. Lordy. Okay, so we've obviously done a diagonal split on this one. So I'll get some of this orange going on the edge. So with these Castle Arts watercolours, um, the first thing to say about these is don't feel that you need to have both the ordinary colouring pencils. Ah, oh, there's Christia. Hello. <laughs> just spotted you dropping in. So yeah, you don't feel that you have to have both the watercolour and the ordinary colouring pencils. You can probably just about tell from what I'm doing here 
they're nice and pigmented, they're nice and soft, and you can actually do anything you like really with these, whether they're wet or dry, they will blend and they blend nicely. So if money's an issue um, or you've only got one set, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever watercolours, layer anything over the top. You don't have to have all the tricks in the tin to produce a good result. I've just had a cold shower. Yeah, I've got a, a little mini aircon unit literally pointed directly at me. So if the page starts flying away, that's the reason. So, so hot. My hands are red and everything. It's awful. So this is the Opera Rose colour, again in the watercolour pencils. And I'm just going to overblend slightly into the orange. And then as usual, I'm going to leave myself with a little bit of air space at the bottom. And this is where I'll integrate the water in. So we just overblend really, really carefully. I'm not pressing very hard. You don't need to with these. Um, nice pencils but press enough so you get a decent colour so what's our temp i don't know whether you guys in canada do it in celsius or fahrenheit but at the moment we're at 29 in the east midlands and um yeah it's most uncomfortable it's not good for people with ginger skin like me far far too hot so i'm going to do all of these same flowers at the same time so i am using exactly the same colors i've already shown you to camera and I'm just going to cycle these in so I can get everything activated with water at the same time. And then when these three are drying, we'll do a different one. Oof, 34 in Paris. Wow, I don't envy that at all. That is way too warm for me. So you can see from this one, it's the same colours. And what I've done is an angled colour blend on this one. So I'm going to do the same on this other side. I'm just going to keep referring to... To this other side because I've slept a few times since I did this. Right, so let's add in the orange. Yeah, it's just typical. I'd got myself all sorted. I'd come up with palettes and everything. I was ready to rock and roll and then life hit and I don't think I've been live with you guys. Is this two weeks or three? I think it might be three. It feels like ages. And I kind of feel out of my groove. I'm a bit out of practice here. I need to, uh, I need to man up and get my big girl pants on. Although it's too hot for them. I'd just like to clarify. I actually do actually have clothes on. That could have been taken in multiple ways there, really, couldn't it? Dear Lord, the things that spill out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, she loved the birthday cake, did she, Mags? That's brilliant. I needed a cracking job on that. I hope it didn't melt before you got it to her look brilliant absolutely brilliant <laughs> oh thanks Christia so I'm just again looking at the other side so I'm going to keep going with an angle but I'm actually going to fade this one in this way so we've got multiple directions hi Chris so same again I'll bring this part of the way down just ease off on the blend so that's where we're going to add the pink and what did I do on the other side so bring the orange down from the edge of this one yeah you were lucky it didn't melt i had visions of it being like um an unfrozen cake because it was going to be like in a, in a puddle because of the heat so i'm so glad it didn't there we go so i'm going back on with the opera rose so again those of you that are just hooking in we're on castle arts watercolor pencils tonight so where I've eased off on the pressure here, I'm actually going to integrate the pink a little bit further back than that. And it just gets those colours blended really beautifully when you hit it with the water brush. Look at the um, little sharpenings left on there. Let's just get rid of those. That's my little trusty doll 133 that's um, sharpened them up beautifully. But you do get these little spiralised bits of um, wood shavings on the side. They're kind of cute, but fall all over the book if you don't pull them off so that's me got rid of that yeah I bet you didn't sleep mags I'd have been worried as well it was a work of art as well it would have been gutting if that had have collapsed down I'm so glad she liked it though so again you can probably just about see I've left myself with a little white area at the edge here and that's where we introduce the water so I'll talk you through that 
once we get there. We're nearly there now. So yeah, those of you that don't have castle arts or you're new to the pencils or you're interested in sort of seeing how they work, um, these are really, really nice and pigmented, really soft. They blend beautifully. The watercolours are really good, either wet or dry. Um, you can see how vibrant, I think Bev's just said lovely vibrant colours, you've hit the nail on the head. They do give you a really nice pigment and that looks really, really nice whether it's blended with water or not. So I'm just going to blow those little bits away. So my preferred water brush, so those of you that are regular on here will know that I favour the Caran Dash water brushes. The reason that I favour this, and sorry for those of you that have heard this about 50 times, is because you have control over the water flow right here with this push valve. And the difference between this brush and some of the other competitors on the market is it, the water doesn't just come out in a big blob and make a mess of your page because you tell the brush how much you want by pushing this button. I've tried Derwent, I've tried Pentel and I've tried some of the sort of generic ones and this, although slightly more expensive, is definitely worth the money. So what we do is we get it going by pushing the button. You can just see the water starting to come out of the tip. So just give it a minute to gather its thoughts because although the water is flowing through it doesn't mean the brush is quite ready to go yet. So just give it a little bit of encouragement. And then the best place to test it is on the back of your hand. So you can just about see there, we've got nice water coverage, so that one is now ready to go. So here we go. I'm just going to move these two I've just used out of the way. And then what I might do for these tiny ones is let's just zoom us in a little bit more so you can see the magic as it unfolds. So what we do is we start with whichever colour you want wanting to merge into the other. So I'm going pink into orange here. I'm going to integrate the water brush at the bottom where I've left this little white area. So we start by making little circles. So I'm just going to dry the brush because there's just slightly too much water coming there and that's normal when you first activate this kind of brush. It does gather its thoughts quite quickly though so it doesn't become a problem. And then we just move the pigment around pull a little bit of that pink down into the very tip and then we let that dry and we retouch in ordinary colouring pencils. So we're going to do the same again. So I'm going to integrate the water into this little white bit here, pick up a little bit of that pink pigment and pull it down into the bottom of the shape and then we just change to little circles and we blend from top, bottom to top, sorry. So I've just had a little wobble outside of the lines there, but it doesn't matter because I just don't care really, to be honest. It's fine. It happens. I'm not worried about a little wobble. <laughs> Christia, that's funny. You just tell him you can you can never put a price or a quantity on creativity. Um, yeah, but don't tell him I said that. I don't want to make an enemy. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same with this one. So we're going to activate that pink change to little circles to get it nicely mushed in with that orange colour and then we're going to just drag the water and the pigment up to the top of the shape and I'm just picking up the excess pigment off the page with the tip of the brush and I have this uh, kitchen towel standing by. So again we just activate the pink first, little circles to blend with the orange and then we take that orange pigment up to the top of the shape in any areas where you get a little bit of pooling like that you just lift the pigment away with your brush move it around and then it dries where you leave it so the main difference with these so some of you may have heard of Derwent ink tents or you might have them um, not really understand the difference between them and watercolors so Derwent ink tents are slightly different to this so I would apply them and blend them in exactly the same way but with Derwent ink tents I will usually go back in for a second go with another layer of the same colour over the top because the ink tents are actually made from Indian ink which means that it dries permanent so I'm just going to squiz all that round because of the direction I'm blending it in sorry if I'm making you seasick so with these watercolours, um, 
once this is dried, if I decide that it's not vibrant enough and I think I'm going to go back in for a second layer with the watercolour pencils and then I activate with the water brush again, this watercolour will keep activating and activating every time and what you're going to have is a big muddy mess and probably bleed through onto the page underneath. So what I prefer to do with these is use watercolours for a quick, fast um, initial first coat and then you can use any brand of ordinary pencils over the top just to sharpen up those colours and neaten up any rough edges. So let's spin round again while that's drying and we'll have a look next at this yellow guy here and these little yellow guys up here. Um, so Josephine, do any of the colours bleed through? So let me show you the back of the page. Let me zoom out first. So this is just, I haven't got any puddles that are going to run, have I? No. So that's the back of the page. So we have no bleed through. We have a slight bit of crinkly. So if you run your finger over it, I can feel where the page has been wet on the other side, but it hasn't distorted this image on the other side of the book. So it doesn't cause me any problems. It can depend how heavy handed you are with the water when you're applying it. And that's why I favour the Caran Dash brush because you have more control. Right, next two colours, let me show them to camera. So we have Lemon Yellow, which is 005, and Cadmium Yellow Deep, which is 075. So we're going for very, very safe two colour blends that I know are not going to cause us too many problems. You know that a yellow will go into an orange, um, like you know that a purple will go into a pink, a pink will go into a red, a light blue will go into a dark blue. So if you're ever in doubt, and I've seen Willow Biscuit chatting about watercolours and feeling a little bit nervy about using them. If you're ever nervy and you're going to actually um, have a little experiment with them, as long as you choose a couple of safe colour blends together, you're not going to go too wrong. So when I say safe colour blends, what I'm talking about is not deciding that you want to try and blend a, say, for example, a brown and a blue together. That's going to look a horrible mess. Um, if that floats your boat, that's fine. But you want to go for something that's nice and safe. So if you're ever wondering, because, um, you know, colour combos can be tricky, um, get yourself a colour wheel and it will tell you what complementary and split complementary colours are. Or you can cheat and be super safe like I am and use very, very safe colour blends and then use other pencils to add effects over the top. So I'm doing exactly the same, but we're going for a bottom to top blend here. So all I'm going to do is integrate this yellow over the top of that more orangey colour. Leave myself with a white edge here, which is where the water brush will get added in. And we're going to do the same on the bigger flower as well. So we'll move that up a little bit so you can see. So I'm going back in with the orangey colour first. And you can put as much or as little of this in as you want. Again, like I've said, when you go to, to touch these up, which we will do with pencil, you add any other effects and things over the top. So if it doesn't look quite right with the first layer of watercolour, it doesn't matter because you can always rework that area so that it's something that you're happy with. So I'm going to put that darker colour um, in under here as well. This one will be a little bit tricky because it's a wiggly line and it's very narrow but we'll do what we can. And then I'm going back over with that yellow so again I'm going to take it up over the darker colour. Not pressing very hard because these are lovely and soft to use. In fact you can probably see the little bits that are crumbling off them. And I'm going to take this not quite up to the edge at the bottom of this shape here. And then the detail I've added to this one is with my sparkle pens. <laughs> We're talking about boys with toys, ladies. I think that's what I can see popping up on my iPad. That's funny. <laughs> so there we go. That's got the bits out of the way. So let's go ahead and do the same again now with the 
water brush so I'm going to do this one first so I'm not resting my hand in very very wet pages so I'm going to just re-waken up the brush it should still be more or less ready to go test it on the back of the hand yep that's looking fine and here we go again so we just wake up the yellow and then nice gentle small movements and we take that up into the top where the darker colour is so quite a subtle colour blend this one but we can make it pop a little more with ordinary pencils over the top although this is popping already it's quite nice I do like this little colour combo I think it will be one that I'll use again so again we'll do the same with this one so we activate all along the bottom edge I'm just going to wipe my brush because I quite like to keep the white highlight on the end of this flower I think it looks pretty so I'm just wiping the edge of the brush and then we change to circles and this is where we integrate it into that darker colour Hi Dina! So we take that up to the top of the shape so it's super subtle you can't really see the contrast between these two and that's why it's really nice to add the extra pencil over the top so I'm just going to really carefully try and run this along underneath so I'm just activating the colour Oof, just about got away with that there we go lovely <laughs> you guys are so funny talking about um, selling stuff to get more stuff completely completely empathize with that so this one then let's look at this combination together so these two colors that I've used are the Bengal Rose and the Cadmium Red so that's number 84 and number 24 so I'm just going to give these a little sharpen actually because I've got a couple of slightly blunt pencils but this is a beautiful colour combo together, it looks so pretty. There we go. Bits everywhere, dear oh dear. So let's go in with the cadmium red first. So if I show you these little guys here, um, this is what we're going to do on the other side of the page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this upside down because I want to try and avoid putting my hand in things that is still wet. So sorry for making you guys dizzy again. So again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. A very, very safe two colour blend. This is a beautiful colour even without activating it with the water. I just love it so much. Really, really vibrant. One thing I do, I have noticed about the um, Castle Arts is um, some of the colours in the watercolour, although they do a similar size set, I think they do 120 of the watercolours as well. One thing I have noticed is they don't have the same corresponding colour in their coloured pencils, which is a bit weird. Um, they have something near, but not the exact colours. That is something to just be aware of. Um, I've had to sort of substitute a couple of colours when I'm wanting to add the extra effects over the top for these. So it's slightly bizarre, I don't know why, but it's obviously a thing. But that's fine, we just work with it. So all I'm doing here is, as I've done on the other flowers that I've just shown you, I'm just going dark to light, dark to light. I wanted to keep this reasonably straightforward and then hopefully some of you guys that are wobbling about trying watercolours will give them a go. This is actually the first proper full page I'm going to be doing in watercolour pencils myself so it's a sort of a suck it and see exercise really. It's going okay so far and if it doesn't go okay that doesn't matter as long as I've enjoyed myself. So the Bengal Rose. So again I'm adding that in sort of all the way, almost all the way up to the top where that red's been. And then we're just gonna ease off on the pressure 
and just leave that little white tip, which is where we'll add the water. So take it all the way over the red on this little edge one. Hi Celia! And under here as well. I mean, I think you could probably add, you know, three or four colour blends together, but these flowers just aren't really big enough for that kind of messing around. Um, so let's just keep it simple. And those of you that know me well will be relieved to hear that my Pentel Hybrid dual metallic pens are about five inches away from my hand and will definitely be getting some airtime this evening. Has to be done. You've got to have bling. So yeah, these are really rather yummy, these pencils. So yeah, sorry for sort of being out of um, circulation for a little while, you guys. You couldn't make it up. Go away on holiday, have a superb time, come back nicely rested. I lasted uh, how many days? Four days at work and bang, not well. And I wasn't well for about a week and a half. No way I could have sat at this desk all crunched up doing this with you guys. So I'm really sorry that I've missed our lives for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> it didn't irritate me um, hugely, actually. But there we are. It's one of those things. Can't help it. I am back, so we're all barring another disaster. This should be me now. So let's just reawaken this little guy up. Just gone to sleep on me. Yep, he's ready to go again. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. I'm not I'm not 100%, I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm back at work now, so that's the main thing. I'm functioning. I'm no longer making the walking dead look good. Um those of you that are familiar with the um the US um sort of a hit series The Walking Dead, the um sort of zombie type people that are in that TV program, I was making them look good. They were looking like catwalk models compared to me last week, so this is an improvement. <laughs> ah, you've got your summer holidays. How lovely. Smashing. That's all the tiny humans home for a few weeks. That's lovely. And the teachers get a rest as well, which is important. So I'm just squeaking that up to the end there. And where I've got a little bit too much pigment, I'm just lifting that away with the brush and dabbing it onto here. <laughs> middle purple pink's laughing is that the walking dead comment that's got you chuckling it's just not an exaggeration that that was my life last week horrendous knowing you poorly and you're even annoying yourself that's that's where i was at not good there we go so same here i'm just going to lift it's just a couple of little bits of pigment that i don't quite want there so you see the difference between the activation there it's particularly noticeable on this one it just makes the colours pop. They're lovely pencils on their own. You activate them with water and aren't they beautiful? So let's spin this round very slightly. Ah, Christy has finished as well. Yeah, you guys have done an absolutely sterling job, um, especially with everything that's been going on. Hats off to all of you that are in education and other front facing roles and things. It's been a difficult time for so many people. So, so difficult. You definitely deserve your break. Hello, hi Leone. So we just do the same again. We just change to little circles and we're just dragging that pigment all the way up to the top here. And you see where it's just pulled there and there's quite a lot. I'm just going to lift that away with the brush because I don't want it to be patchy patchy. And we'll tidy this up anyway with ordinary pencils very soon. Hi Esther. So here we go again. Pull a little bit of the pink back towards the tip. And then we just work our way to the other end as well. A little bit fiddly, um, these little spaces. So if you wobble about or go over the lines, it doesn't matter. It's just a colouring book. We don't worry about things like that. There we go. Okay, okay. So I'm going to stand this water brush up now so he doesn't leak all over my desk. And then let's look at some ordinary colouring pencil over the top. So I'm going to swing this round again. 
and we'll look at these guys up here because they should be nice and dry so I just need to refresh myself which colours I've got with which because I think you heard me say a few minutes ago that I haven't got exact matches for them so just give me one second to sort out what I've got a match for and what I haven't got a match for so we've got let me see it's opera rose is going up there cadmium orange is going up there uh, I've got cadmium red and bengal rose so I think it's these two that aren't exact matches or maybe I'm telling you lies hang on oh no they are exact matches I think one of the other ones isn't. So this is the ordinary colouring pencil. So main difference between the two is these ones have got a round barrel and the watercolour ones are hexagonal. So you leave these on the desk, they roll towards you and attack you, whereas the watercolour ones don't. <laughs> so I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm just going to get a nice tip on these because these flowers are a little bit, a little bit weeny. Bev loves the flowers with the sparkles. Yeah, me too so pretty we will be adding bling it has to be done wouldn't be one of my lives without adding bling over the top so cadmium yellow deep um strangely doesn't it's not an exact exact match slight shade difference there between watercolor and non-watercolor very peculiar doesn't make sense to me really but Hey ho, it's near enough. So what did I do on the other ones? I think I just, yeah. I've slept since I did the practice run of this. So is the different sizes? Yes, there is. Let me show you real quick before we crack on. So I'm just gonna unzoom slightly because I have the other two in my door. Oof, air conditioning's blowing straight down my throat because of the angle I've got it at with my drawer. Terrible. So I've got the set of three. So the one that you've seen me use is the blue. So this is, I believe, called their medium tip brush. So it's quite pliable. If you've got a very narrow area, you can manipulate the tip to make it either chisel or a point. So it's, I use that one really for most things. The black one is their large tipped brush. So just to give you an idea. So I would use this one for larger areas if I was doing a wash over this sort of area. Probably wouldn't faff about with this. I'd probably use this larger one. And then that you also get in the set of three, this red one. This one's an interesting one because it looks like a felt tip. So I did use this on the last live that I did. And the bit that I used it for was to add activate the colour in this very very thin area here and as you can see I've got absolutely no bleed either side of the line. I think if I'd have tried to have done that with the ordinary brush I'd have been all over the shop so that was quite good. Um, all of these products if you're interested in them I do have a link to an Amazon storefront which is an affiliate link so if you want to find the products either in um, Amazon UK or just find it for yourself you can find it through there if you do buy it through my affiliate links I get a few pennies in commission which I just plow into extra stuff like this but you can find it in your own Amazon wherever it is that you guys live obviously and buy it separately as well but it's all there everything that I use in my lives is in my Amazon storefront so you guys can find it nice and easily so let's carry on so all I'm going to do with this one is just sharpen up what I've already done. Now I don't need to do too much with this one because the coverage has been really nice and smooth. I just want to darken it a little and I'm not going to again apply a second layer of watercolour because it's going to reactivate the first layer and change it to soup which is, is not attractive generally. So the lemon yellow that's the paler colour so this is 005. Weirdly the numberings are actually the same on the pencils. Never noticed that before. Hmm. okay I'm just going to do the same but yeah um, I have a little look um, middle purple pink I'm sorry I don't know what, you, what your name is um, I'm assuming it's not middle or purple or pink <laughs> you'll have to tell me so I can add it to my list um, yeah I'm just going to use this to just tidy up over the top of this watercolour I don't want to lose the watercolour effect so I'm not pressing very hard at all just enough <laughs> 
to tidy up the area. And then for this big guy here as well, so I'm just cycling the same two colours. This is the Cadmium Yellow Deep. So just checking to make sure it is actually dry, which it is. So with this one, I do want this to, oh, it's Cora. Right, let me add it to my list. I have a list. So middle, purple, pink is Cora. So there's a lovely lady, I'm, I'm assuming she's still here in the background, called Christia. Took me about eight weeks to remember her name and it was getting embarrassing. So that's why I now have a list. Memory and uh, attention span of a flea, generally. So yeah, I have a little list. I still frantically have to look at it. <laughs> so bad, so, so bad. How do I get from A to B generally during the day without causing myself or other people harm is beyond me sometimes. I do have a list, yes, I do, Cora. <laughs> it's right next to me. There she is, Christy is waving. <laughs> she can attest to how pathetically poor my memory is on these live streams. Oh. Colouring llamas. Colouring llamas, is that Laws? I think that's Laws, remind me. And if it's not, I need to add you to my list as well. <laughs> so, lemon yellow again. Honestly, sometimes just stringing a coherent sentence together for you guys is, is just too much. Dear, oh dear. Still I'm only going to neat Nova very slightly because I'm kind of happy with how that yellow layer was looking. There's just a couple of areas where it's a little bit pasty. Um, so let's just sharpen that up a little bit. And what I am going to do is just use this generally over this darker section under here just to tidy this up as well. I'll pop those guys away so we should be safe with the orange and pink one as well. I'm just going to look at these because I'm sure there was one where I didn't get an exact match. Ah, oh, it's this one. I thought I was absolutely blathering a load of rubbish then, but I'm not. So the watercolour one that I used is this cadmium orange middle. Oh, it is lost. Thank God for that. That would have been embarrassing. Um, the match, nearest match I can find is this cadmium orange. So were a couple shades different really there but they don't seem to do this one in their ordinary colouring pencils. I'm still going to write down llamas and laws on my list because if I don't, guaranteed the next time I'm not going to remember. There we go. So let's get these guys out of the way. So I'm going to go in with the cadmium orange first. This again is castle arts but ordinary colouring pencils this time. Yeah, um, Cora, they're, they're very well pigmented and for the price point of them, you get a lot of buck for your money, really. So, just making sure I'm not going to drag anything round off those ones. So, these ones do need a bit of a tidy because I've had a little, bit of a, a little bit of a wibble around. Willow Biscuit, feels a purchase coming on. Well, again, you've got a little link in my Amazon shop there, so it's always appreciated because they give me... It's literally pennies. I think I think when people buy the Pentel Metallics, they cost about 12 quid and I think they give me about mm, 40p. So it's not a lot, but it just, it adds up and then it lets me buy more stuff that I can show you guys. So it's always appreciated. So let's just sharpen this up a little bit. I was definitely off my game when I did this one. I think this is one of the first ones I did when I first came on. So again, I don't want to lose the watercolour, but do you see where I've not quite put enough of the pink down? So I've kind of, it's a bit flim flam there. I don't really like that. So we're just going to neaten this up with the ordinary colour in pencil. So I'm not pressing very hard at all. These layer up really, really nicely over the watercolour pencils and they're super soft to use as well. So the Opera Rose, which is an exact match for the watercolour pencil. It's just the same principle. I'm just going to blend that backwards into the orange. Again, I'm not pressing hard at all. Just enough to get it tidied up. Colour Fab 33, hello to you. <laughs> That's so funny. You need to tell me your name. Is your name Willow or is that just your profile name? And I'll add you to my list as well. There we go. That's just, that's much better. See how that's just neaten that up? Much, much better. 
you have bought more I've bought more pencils significant other oh why have you done now it's this woman on Instagram's fault she made me do it <laughs> I'm just as guilty of it if you're not on your own oh dear okay let's tidy this um, this bad boy up oh Christy is laughing so I'm just cycling the same colours again. So do you see how we're a little bit pasty here? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It looks okay. But I need to tidy up. Right, I'm adding that to the list. Willow Biscuit is Julie. I need to tidy this up. It's a messy list. Julie. Nice to meet you, Julie. So let's just tidy this up because this is looking really flim flam as well. So I'm not pressing very hard at all. I keep saying that to you. Let me show you on a piece of paper. So if I was pressing hard with this pencil, that's the kind of colour we would be getting. To layer it over the top of the watercolours, that's literally the pressure that I'm putting on. So you don't have to add a lot at all. Hi, Juma. Adam knows who you are. Uh-oh. Oh, Carol's here. Hi, Carol. Excellent. The family is complete now. Carol's turned up as well. Wonderful. So lovely Carol. Um, last week I was feeling like, like death, which we were talking about earlier on. And I had um, two actually unexpected knocks at the door. I thought, what's going on here? So I go in, there's a lovely Amazon man handing me parcels. And when I open them, there's a lovely gift note inside and Carol had ordered me two books from my Amazon wish list to make me feel better, which was so kind. And oh my God, did it make my day. Two deliveries in one day. So um, yeah, I have two new books by Maria Troll. I have um, Luna and Botanicum. Already got my eye on pages in there that I want to do. So thank you very much, Carol. I know I've sent you a message, but it's nice to say thank you too, so you can hear as well, because I was super happy. Super, super happy. And yeah, and you may have seen my post from yesterday. Um, I actually managed to get my Clara Markova book. Oh, sheer desperation. I put it up on my stories. Does anybody know how on earth to get these books in the UK? Because it's just impossible. A couple of lovely ladies um, pointed me in the direction of a Facebook group. And I reached out to them. And a lovely guy arranged it for me got it over to me it was the cheapest one when I say cheapest that sounds really bad I'm gonna say reasonable the most reasonable one with postage one company quoted me for the book and postage it's over 60 pounds um, and this one it cost me um, it was 24 pounds or 25 pounds for the book and about another 10 or 12 pounds in postage and it arrived in five days and it's stunning. And the only thing I would say is if you get moved to purchase this particular book from this seller, beware when you open the parcel. I heard a suspicious rattle and I turned it over and he'd lovingly wrapped it in tissue paper and sandwiched between the tissue paper and the book was a mountain of confetti. And I thought, Jesus, thank God I noticed that because I was picking bits off myself for a good half an hour, the bits that did escape. But... um. Yeah, so, so funny. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, confetti bomb, help. So funny. But he sent wafers and all sorts of stuff. It's wonderful. I'll, I'll show you the book real quick before we finish if you want me to. So the last ones then. So I'm going to swizz round. So we're upside down again. It's just easier because of the camera angles. So we have cadmium red and Bengal Rose. Now they are, again, the exact same colours in the watercolour set and the numbers are the same as well, which is super, super helpful. Yeah, stop laughing, Lois. You should have seen it, seriously. Like, I could have filled my recycling bin with it. There was so much. I was like, chick, chick, chick. oh my God, you're having a laugh. There's confetti in there. So luckily I noticed it because I'm the kind of person that would sabotage a gift for somebody else in a similar manner. Yeah, nearly a whole boatload of karma yesterday, but thankfully I dodged it. <laughs> Catherine was like, oh my God. It's like, it's okay, it's okay. It's not all falling out all over me, just most of it. <laughs> right, cadmium red is our darkest colour again. 
Hi Fantasia. But yeah, honest to God, in the middle of my lunch break from work, so excited that this book's arrived, so I'm ripping it open. Like, wow, they've sent me a bookmark and they've sent me caramel, um, like from the Netherlands, these caramel wafer things that you put over a cup of coffee. Oh, there's even a Netherlands tea bag. Oh, look at this, this is great. Oh, there's the book. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Ah. So, uh, yeah, wow. But I still had it all down me by the time I finished work because it was like that really papery stuff that you have at weddings. Dear Lord, seriously. I was like, thanks for that. <laughs> it's all over my laptop, it's in my dinner, it's down my trousers, it's everywhere. Dear, oh dear. Never mind, it made me laugh anyway. It's probably making you laugh as well, so. <laughs> so again, I'm only really pressing very, very gently here. And again, I'm not wanting to lose the watercolour effect, but I'm just wanting it to not look as pale and, and watery as it was looking and you wouldn't do two layers with these pencils because you're just going to have soup you just can't do it so you're far better to just touch up with these pencils all I'm doing really is smoothing the pigment over so that it looks um not as flim flam good thing you're such a good sport thing is Bev um I can remember many <laughs> many years ago so I have two very much younger brothers. Um, I'm 41 and my two brothers are 19, soon to be 20, and 17, soon to be 18. So my poor dad evidently had a, some sort of crisis because he decided it was a good idea to have another two very later on, which is wonderful because I love them dearly. Um, <laughs> they're lovely boys. And one year um, when they were, oh, Jensen must have been... He'd have been at school, so he was probably four going on five. So the time when they understand what's going on around Christmas time. And um, I'd embroidered um, alphabet penguin tags for all their presents. They'd got 26 little presents and I'd triple wrapped them. And in between each careful layer of triple wrapping was Christmas related confetti. My dad probably didn't talk to me for about a month after that and they were still finding minute silver stars, I think well into like June or July because things are pinged under the sofas and everywhere. So yesterday pretty much probably was karma repeating itself because I'm the kind of present giver that likes to sabotage things. Can't get it past Catherine anymore, she knows me too well. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, dead funny. Right, let's have a little look at, yeah, it gave them instructions. So they had to, Jensen had to read the letters um, so that he knew which ones to open first and it was all done very properly and stuff, but God, did it make a mess. <laughs> right, let's see what we've done. So I've used silver on this one. So let's flash these pens at you. So those of you that are in my Facebook Lives, this is the moment where you all go ooh and ah. So these are the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens that you can see before your very, very eyes. If you don't have these pens in your life, do have a look in my Amazon shop because they're life-altering. They're just, they're just life-altering, they really are. So what have we got? We've got some silver here. Obviously use the orange-yellow on that one. Ah, well done, Julie and Christia. Gold stars. I might need a bit of green, you know, on these. Because we've done no leaves at all. Why have I only got flower palettes ready for you guys? Mm. Damn it. Let's have a look at leaves first. Mm -mm. So I'm just consulting my chart. So we've gone for quite light greens here. So I'm thinking we'll go for some darker greens to go with some of these other ones. So let's see what we've got. I don't know if the hooker screen's a bit too bluey. Let's go for juniper and sap green. So I'm just going to dig this out of my tin. So I've got juniper green here and sap green. I want to show you some leaves as well, not just flowers. I'd obviously lost the will to live when I was preparing this the last time. <laughs> Oh, Josephine's got them. Well done, Josephine. 
Mrs. Colour Lady have them for her birthday. Oh, I'm always, I'll always enable you to buy more art supplies. I enable myself to buy them. It's just terrible. The thing is, like, I wouldn't be a proper sort of person on here if I didn't tell you which products were going to make your dreams come true. And these ones just do. So I'm going to just pull these little bits. I love my Dial 133, but it leaves you with these little wee bits on your pencil. And they just go everywhere. Oh, Barbara's in the house. Hi, Barbara. So let me show you the colours. We have sap green and juniper green. So again, I'm going very safe here. I'm going for a two colour blend. And I think what we will do is um, let's do leaves for these pur purple, dear God, the orange and the pink chaps on this side. And then we'll do some sparkle pens. And not before. <laughs> So I'm going to run this all the way down. So I might be able to actually show you um, that red Caran d'Ache water pen that we were talking about because it's going to be an absolute mare activating this with the ordinary brush part. I can tell Barbara's here. There's loads of high Barbara's everywhere. It's so nice. <laughs> it's lovely. I had that on your live last weekend, didn't I? I popped in and there was, hi, Suzanne, hi, Suzanne. I was like, oh God, sorry, Barbara. <laughs> now I'm just checking back to see whether this actually goes anywhere else. It's quite hard to see. I don't think it does. And I'm going to assume from the patterns on these leaves that we're probably including this fella in as well. So that's what we're going to go for. Struggling for sharpener. You need a dull one, three, three in your life. Let me show you. So this guy is the Dahl 133 and the beauty of this is it fits every kind of pencil so your ink tents will fit in there and your luminance if you've got luminance because you have an adjuster here which adjusts round them. Um, again, lovely Carol sent it to me. She said, Suzanne, this sharpener will change your life and she was not wrong. It's a cracking sharpener and I don't experience as much breakage um, with my Prismacolors, interestingly, since I started using them, using that sharpener. So let's blend this in. Oh, standard Statler as well. That's interesting, Christia. That's one bright um, makeup sharpener I don't have. So that really interests me. So I'm thinking going to do these in sort of glitter. I might do the tips of the um of like the bud bits in glitter and let's do the ordinary part of the leaf in watercolors. Yeah, I don't have a Statler one. Oh god, don't tell me that. And you guys call me an enabler. <laughs> I'm instantly thinking, "Ooh, Amazon." So funny Catherine will kill me. <laughs> So those of you that are following my, my grid on here will see that I'm in the middle of um, an Olivier, um, Olivier, I don't know how you pronounce the name, bless her, Odorant tutorial. And the third part of it is acrylic. So of course I promptly go onto um, Amazon and order myself these acrylic paints. And I said to Catherine, oh, I need these, um, these paints because I want to do the, this part of the tutorial. And she just gave me an indulgent eye roll, which I knew was, <sighs> go on then. So I got them ordered. Um, God help me, basically, but I've got them. So we'll see. We'll see whether I make a mess of it. We'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have an accident, Carol. It's not good. Okay. So, oh, these little guys here are on this stem as well. So let's just pop the tiniest bit of colour into them. I don't think I've missed any. Can I have a little drink? I've gone a bit hoarse. There we go. Sorry if I've just gulped in your ear. So I bought the set of 26, Barbara. I didn't go for the full set. Um, yeah, I didn't, couldn't justify having 46 um, tubes of acrylic paint that I may or may not get on with. So we went for the, um, the lesser priced option that had the required colours in if it made sense. Hi Maria. 
So I'm going to do exactly the same standard two colour blend. Oh, that's nice, Amelia. It can be hard to get in back into it if you haven't touched your colour in for a little while. I completely understand that because I get like that as well. I think if you're feeling like that, sometimes it's nice to look at a tutorial or look at other pages that other people have done because sometimes you, you'll see something and you'll think, oh, that's really inspired me. I fancy doing that page or something similar. That's what I do anyway. So you'll sometimes see me following other people's tutorials. Um, you'll know that I follow Chris Cheng a lot, um, discovered um, Olivier um, Odoron as well, her patron, which I've joined. Um, and that's, yeah, that keeps me motivated. And besides, I can learn new things that way that I can share with you guys as well, which is super good fun. Right, let's crack on with this. But yeah, I'll show you that, that book in a couple of minutes. I'm going to be okay to about 8.30 UK time and then I'm going to have to disappear. So if I crack on with this, then I can show you. Oh, bless you, um, Julie. It's, um, I've, I've got a bit of a cheek, actually, because I've only done two, two days at work this week, but I'm absolutely dead. Um, I think it's because I wasn't well last week. It's really took not the stuffing out of me. But I do have tomorrow off and Monday. So I will be having a nice little recharge again, which is definitely needed. Right, where have I put my piece of tissue? There it is. It's supposed to be cooking tea. That's what Just Eat's for. We did the Just Eat tonight. Totally illegal, but God, it was lush. <laughs> I don't know, you don't get a physique like mine by not doing Just Eat. Dear, oh dear. Okay, here we go. Oh, you've got your gesso, Bev. That's brilliant. I've only used mine once so far, and I have to say it was really rather good. Um, I liked the coverage that it gave me on the black lines, and I really liked the effect with the Prismacolor over the top as well. It, it took to it quite nicely. So I think I'll probably use that more, because some of these images that have got flowers and leaves and things sometimes I kind of want to blank as nice as it is sometimes I want to blank things like this out so that it, I've got like a proper leaf shape if that makes sense um, so I am going to have a bit of a tinker around with that just so I've just got too many other sort of projects in my brain at the moment the the black swan page that I've recently done that was one of those moments where I had an idea and um, it just had to be done Let's just wipe up a bit of this excess pigment. Which colours am I using? I'm on Castle Art Watercolours and this is Juniper Green and Sap Green. So we just blend in from the lightest colour into the darkest colour. It's thundering. Oh my goodness. We had um, thunder here. Um, what night was it? It wasn't last night, it was the night before. I am gonna try this actually with this brush. Let's see if I if I balls it up or if I manage to do it. And then um, the first thing I did when I heard the rain start was um, throw open the back door and go and stand in the garden and get soaked. I was so happy. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, yes. Please cool down. It was so nice. It was so nice. Right. So I've just had a little wobble there. So what I might do is get the other red brush fired up and then we can see the difference of the blending with the, the red one that kind of looks like a, a felt tip pen. So I'm just gonna pick up that pigment at the tip here. But yeah, if you are gonna go and stand out in the rain, Julie, um, go and do it safely. Don't sort of stand anywhere where you're gonna have a problem with lightning and stuff, because that would be scary. Sort of standing in the middle of your garden with your arms held wide it's probably not a good plan that's what i was doing the other night my neighbors must have thought i'd fallen off my trolley completely i was living my best life in that moment so let's just pick up these bits and all i'm going to do with this one is just give it a little dab because it's such a small shape i don't want to sort of wobble over lines and things so activate all this moving backwards 
and just picking up that pigment as you go. There we go. So I'm just going to lift up because I don't want that big dark blob at the end of the shape. So let's just um, fire up this little red brush. Luckily I have oh, a little cup of water behind me. So those of you that don't have these brushes, let me unzoom and just show you what I'm doing. So um, a little red brush, um, sort of fibre tip end here. And you just unscrew. And then it's a plunger system, so fill a bit, fill a bit again, don't need a lot. Swizz it back together, just get the water safely out of the way so I don't knock that all over the book. And then the same principle with this one, so we'll just zoom back in. So even though it's a little fibre tip, the water will still come through the same. So you can probably just about see it feeding through the barrel there. And so we're just getting the water through the tip now. Let's just keep giving it a bit of encouragement because it's obviously sort of been bone dry. And then we test it out on the back of the hand. So nice and moist, but not too moist. So if we go back into this other little area that I haven't done yet. So just a little bit too wet there, so I'm just gonna give it a little dab again. So that does sometimes happen with these, um, even though you have a lot of control over the flow. Once you first get it going, you may have, like I've just had to just give it the tiniest of dabs just to just to get it to rein itself back in. They do get excited the, the very first few moments that you use them and then they soon settle down again so we're using this little chisel tip on the end it's actually letting me keep all of that paint within that line and then we just wipe the tip in between colors and as you can see it cleans so yep yeah, that's looking okay Precious amazing goes over to Amazon. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm, I, I'm such an enabler. I can't help myself. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to see if I've got the same greens. This may not be dry enough for me to um, mess about with this on live with you guys tonight. So let's just look at the sparkly bits to start with. So um, we have got the silver. So one second. What else we got? Just trying to think these uh, red flowers with silver so I might do the tip of these ones in one of my new colors which oh it's just delicious <clears throat> so that's that one. Oh yeah and then we need the if I can find them where are you there we go right let me unzoom so I can show you these pens oh Alexandra's here hi Alexandra so I'll show you the silver one because it's just easier so can get it under the light properly. So for those of you that don't have these, welcome to the world of Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallic Gel Pens. They are the sparkliest, most glitteriest pens you will ever come across. And when I was on holiday three weeks ago, I found four colours I didn't even know existed. So I nearly jumped up and down, literally, on the spot in the shop, much to poor Catherine's horror. It was a bit embarrassing, but you know. <laughs> right, hang on. I just want another. I think we're going to use that one as well. I just need to check which is the new one and which is the old one. Yeah, good to go. Cool. Um, I've been on for about an hour and five, so you've missed a little bit, but not too much. But you're never late. That's the beauty of catch up. Okay, so just be a bit careful what I'm doing with these. So this is the gold colour. Thinking they'd double as a mini water gun. Yeah, they probably would actually. Um, I didn't get two of each. It was tempting. I literally just sort of stood there jumping up and down on the spot. And again, I had that indulgent eye roll from poor Catherine. It's like, oh, she's seen pens. Oh, she looks excited. Oh, she's jumping up and down in a shop. This is awkward. 
yeah, just buy them and then we can leave. So um, that's exactly what I did. That was like a sorry, not sorry moment. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is add this over the stem. So this is gonna be a mixed picture of sparkle bling and watercolors and a bit of ordinary pencil over the top. So those of you that are always on Facebook Live, this is your cue to go ooh and ah. Or at least when I flash them in front of the light, then you can do it because, you know, as you do. So let's give you a little flash of that gold. Isn't that delicious? Look at the sparkles. So, so pretty. So I'm going to carry this colour on for this big guy's stem here. So this is where I end up having to be super careful what I'm doing or I'm going to stick my hand in it and print this all over the page. Ah, well done, Alexandra. Going to hobby craft. <laughs> so I actually found the new colours in Ryman's. So if you have a Ryman's near you in the UK, have a look. If not, you can find the full set on Amazon. Um, which I've obviously saved into my favourites because I'm going to need replacements. You know, it's what it, it is what it is, isn't it? But I guarantee you, once you start using these beauties, you won't look back. So I'm going to go ahead for the full, the full gold leaf thing here. So one thing I love about these pens is they're very moist when you use them. So the ink flow is always good. I've never had to um, sort of tap this on a page or give it a severe look in the middle of a live because it's not working, which I've had to do with some other pens, much to my um, annoyance. But these ones never ever let me down. They just start working immediately. Um, for example, this one hasn't been used for about three weeks. Um, since I did the test palettes for these flowers and look beautifully moist and out it comes. Oh, Clinton sells them as well, Mel. Oh, I've got Clintons in my town. Oh my goodness. I have to have a little look at that. Mm. So I'm going to squeeze this round. Um, now what I've done on the other flower, um, they take a little while to dry. Um, it, not excessive amounts of time. I would give it a good a good few minutes before you um you sort of start messing around because if if you don't you will sort of stamp it all over your page. So let's just dot randomly dot some of this down the darker edge of the flower. And then of course you have a little bit of an effect. So this is the orange and gold one which I'm showing you now. And while the book is up this way, let's do the silver one as well. So this is the, the same range, silver pen. And then I'll show you one of my new colours. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to block colour these details. We'll just do one of these because you don't really need to see me do both of them. I want to show you the other colour. And I want to show you a bit of that new book as well, because I know a few of you are super interested in that. So you can just drag the pigment along with the nib of the pen there. So that's obviously a very, very thin shape. And this is, you know, a reasonably chunky pen nib, really. But because they're so um, sort of moist in terms of the ink, you can actually just drag the ink along. So I, I'm not sort of drawing um, on the page with it as such. I'm kind of dotting it on and then pulling the pigment around, which is good because it makes them last a lot longer. On offer a pound each, oh God, don't tell me that. Oh no. I can see me having uh, a little diversion up to the town centre tomorrow. Oh dear. But yeah, you, to be honest, unless they're on offer like that, you best to get them in a set from Amazon really because like as Beth just pointed out, um, Individually, they can be quite expensive. There we go. A quid. Can you imagine all of us going into our respective towns and swiping all of the pens? <laughs> so funny. So there's the silver. I mean, isn't that delicious? It's just beautiful. So I'm going to swing this round. 
So this is one of the new ones that I found in that shop. So this is um, yellow and metallic green together. And this is just yummy. Oh, don't you should see the size of my wish list. Um, it's huge, absolutely huge. Never goes down, it always goes up. Goes down temporarily. And then it goes right back up to where it was again. Honest to goodness. I could probably open my own branch of a stationery shop in here with <laughs> all the bits. <sighs> Never mind, life's too short not to be happy, people. If you need stationery, buy stationery. So I'm just dotting this on and kind of pulling the pigment around with the pen. And then I'm going to turn my fold around and I'll just show you the range of colours so that you've seen them. So let's just flash this at the camera as well. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colours. <laughs> well done, Alexandra. <laughs> okay, let's do this one while we're, while we're at it. And then I'm going to put this book somewhere steady and let it have a really good dry before I touch it again. So sometimes it's just nice, I think, um, to add the little effects like this. I mean, you know, I do sometimes like a lot of realism when I'm colouring and I, I do like things to look realistic. But actually, even when if I'm doing a realistic picture, more often than not, you will see me adding things like this to it because it just makes it look so pretty. I think I will always add glittery bits to my pages. It's it's a problem. What can I say? I'm kind of inclined actually to. Hmm. So where we've got these little black dots on the edge of the flower, where Johanna's drawn them, I'm just going to dot a little bit of this over the top. So you could dot a bit of white on here as well. Yes, they are in the set. They absolutely are. I'll show you them. And then you just get a little bit of something different. So let me unzoom. So next time you see this, um, I will have tidied this up. I'm also going to be looking to see if I can match the greens in the ordinary colour pencils as well. And if I can, I'll be doing exactly the same with the leaves as you've seen me do with the flowers. So there's not going to be any, any surprises there. It's not going to be rocket science. It'll be what I've done before. So just to show you the full sparkle so yeah and then let me just dig the page out of my folder and I can show you the different colors that you get in the set so if you hear a crash it's just me dropping dropping my folder ah oh, here we go right so I need to remember to not put this down on my book Okay, so this is the full range of colours. So they have another set called Mellow. And they're the Mellow ones. So these ones have got three or four different colours of glitter through them. So in different lights, they look very, very different, which you can hopefully sort of pick up. Now the Hybrid Jewel colours, this is all of the ones that are available. So you've seen me use a couple of them tonight. The new colours are these four at the bottom. Now the one that I absolutely love the most, which I can't stop using, so it's gonna end up running out, is this blue and gold one. So that is what I've used around the edge of these guys here. So depending on what light you've got it in, you've got a blue effect or a gold effect. And the reason that they're called dual metallic is because they will look different on black to white paper so this one will look more yellow on white paper but it will look metallic green on a black piece of paper so where you've got some of those images like in Maria Troll books for example where you've got the black pages you might want to add where the page is black anyway and it's just the image you could add effects over the top of these pens and it would probably look pretty cool so yeah sorry if I've enabled a lot of you to watching to now go and buy pens I'm kind of not sorry, I feel like you need them in your life. Um, yeah, so sorry, not sorry guys. Right, let me grab that new book real quick. Two seconds, it's on the other side of the room. Okay. 
And something else I'm going to show you real quick is this um, Olivia Odorant tutorial that I'm working on. So let's get this one on the floor so it can be drying. Nice, safe and sound. So this is my current project that I'm in the middle of. So this is on Olivier Odorant's Patron and it's done with Prismacolor, no, Polychromos. So I'm nearly done. I've just got the tree in the house and then there'll be like waterfall bits here and then there's the background. So I'm thinking on future live streams, I'm gonna show you guys some of this stuff because it was quite easy to do. So yeah, that's the latest project that I'm working on. So that's my little bit of work on the side. So let me make sure that I'm zoomed out as much as I can be and just clear all this dross out of the way. So, Tenderful Enchantments. So this is the new book. Um, still evidence of confetti in the margin. Do you see that? Tiny little pieces. Dear Lord. Um, nice touch. It's signed by Clara which is just lovely. So I'm not going to do a full, full flip through. I'm just going to show you an example of some of the pages that are in here because the artwork is stunning. Yes, Mel, I'll be doing it in polychromos. Absolutely. So look at these. And the problem is, every time I turn a page, I just want to colour it. So my list of um, sort of upcoming projects, um, the list goes on basically. There's a lot of sort of this going on um, and now I've not coloured in one of these before so the paper quality feels good, it feels thick but whether this has been done because if you use a wet media there might be a bit of bleed through, I don't know, um, potentially, I'm not sure, potentially. But yeah, let's show you a, a little bit of um, the artwork. So this page, um, Olivier Odorant has this on her Patreon. And Chris Cheng has this on YouTube. So at the moment, I'm like, oh, whose am I doing? I don't know. So this one is going to be one of my first projects. But isn't it cute? I kind of like the way there's a bit of pointillism in the image as well. Because I think when you add colour over the top of this, it'll add some natural shading, which I like the idea of, really. <laughs> Oops, saws. If you want details of how to get it in the UK, just pop me a little direct message and I'll give you all the details because I had a right mare figuring out how to get a copy of this over here because you just can't get it on Amazon at all. So yeah, look at these. I'm going to flip through just a bit quicker. How cute is that? But yeah, really nice um, paper quality. Oh, that's a good idea, Alexandra. I didn't think of that. See, I love this as well. This page is calling to me. <gasps> Cake. So is that page, but for all the wrong reasons. Keep turning. This is a Chris Chang. I'm sure I've seen this bunny rabbit page on her YouTube. I recognise that. I'm sure I have. And this one as well. I love these little houses. I think I'm probably going to film a pro proper flip through at the weekend, but just give you a little, a little cheeky peek at it now. So yeah, you have a bit of this running through the book as well, so a couple of double pages of that. But then we have a double page on this side, so I'm kind of thinking that might be a bleed through prevention tool, but that's okay. Um, Jackie, send me a direct message after the live and I'll pick it up. Just remind me what you've asked me for and I'll send you the details because I'm just not going to remember, I'm hopeless. So do pop me a message after the live, it's no problem. I mean, how cute is that? Look at them. It's so sweet. Probably I'm going to end up flipping through the whole thing, actually. Can't fathom that out. What's that all about? Not sure. Mm. So I have some underwater type ones. More sort of perfume bottle. That one's sweet. There's some little Christmas ones at the end of the book as well, which I really love. I like that one. Lots of little animals. That one's super cute as well. 
So again, we must have a double page come in. There's a theme here. Yeah, and we do. It's a double page. More cakes. That one I just love so much. That's on my list of uh, things to do. I just thought that was adorable. More cake. There's a definite theme here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, it's just, it's very different. Very cute and very different. But very, yeah, like um, you've just said, Julie, very detailed illustrations. Yeah, for sure. They're, it's just di a different way of illustrating. Really, really nice. This one calls to me big time. I love this page. It's not enough hours in the day. Oh. And that's cute as well. I love that too. Oh dear. Nearly at the end of the book now, so I'm just going to show you. That's definitely a Chris Cheng page. I'm sure I've seen this one. So that will be on the list. Oh, look at that as well. So cute. Oh God, every time I turn the page, I see another one I want to do. I'm nearly there now. Oh, look at that little mouse door and there's the cheese in there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, cake pages make me hungry for cake as well. It's, it's a problem. Yeah, see, look, we've got a pattern here. So we've got two doublers again. Um, but we're going, getting into little Christmas scenes here. So this, these two really interest me. Oh, how cute is that? And this is the end. So she's got these bits. I think the idea is you cut these out and then you fit them to one of the other pages in the book so it's a bit 3D. No way I'm cutting my book to pieces. That's not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, that's the book. So those of you that do DM me for the details, I've you've been given due warning about the confetti that was in the middle of this book when I opened it. So if it explodes, it's not my fault. <laughs> Look at it, you, I don't know if you can see these tiny minute little bits it was made up of little bits like that as well and they're all down the seam here oh there was loads of it went everywhere so funny but yeah um things i'm going to show you from this page um this underwater thing here fantastic um, and really simple to do these trees as well really really simple to do but so pretty and these effects as well on the top of the pencil um, I've learned such a lot so I think once I'm super happy I'm reasonably happy but once I'm super super happy what I'm thinking is I'll either show you some of it on here so I'm tying the page in or I might do it on um, one of the other pages that's got because I kind of like this underwater bit so we'll see but that's my plan anyway so I'm going to love you guys and leave you guys now that's me done so all barring a technical hitch, this will be uploaded as usual onto Instagram. So those of you that have jumped in late, doesn't matter, you can rewatch this at your leisure. Um, I will be live, all being well, on Facebook in the usual place on Sunday at 4pm UK time. So hopefully I'll see some of you there. And um, if not, I will hopefully see you guys here on Instagram again a week today. So normal service should be resuming. So those of you that are new, welcome. Thanks for the chat, that's been lovely. All the products you've seen me using or things you've seen in the live, not including this book, are all in my Amazon storefront. So um, the link to that is in my bio. Again, if you do buy through that, I get a few pennies in commission. Not a lot, um, but I get a little bit, so that's always appreciated. Um, in terms of Facebook, the other groups that I'm in, because I know Julie just popped up there about Facebook, if you go to the link in my bio to my link tree, I have my own Facebook group, but I also predominantly will post and create content in the Johanna Bassford Your Pages group. So if you're not already a member, it's a wonderful, wonderful group with many, many thousands of members. Um, lots of lives. Um, I usually do a Sunday. Barbara Culler normally does a Saturday. And occasionally there'll be other events running as well. But if you're interested, um, that is the place to be. So 
hopefully I will see some of you there and if you have different profile names to what you have on here um, do remind me who you are because we've already established my memory's terrible <laughs> so nice to see you all thanks for your company again it's been great I am gonna wrap it up for the evening now so let me nudge you out of my phone stand and I'll say ta for now take care folks <laughs>